Yo, what's up buddies? Beaker here and welcome back to Defensive Champion. Today's a very special episode. Boom! As you can see, we made it to champ. Just defense, guys. No attacks. Wow. I am surprised how easy this was. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. How you guys can do this too if you want. I won almost 70 defenses. All the way from Gold League up to here. That is huge. So guys, today we're going to look at some of the highlights. We're going to talk about how you can do this. And we're just going to have some fun. Because honestly, some of these raids are pretty funny. Yeah. You can imagine. I mean, when people fail on you over and over and over, I mean... It's pretty funny. Plus, most of these times, I don't have my heroes. I don't have Clan Castle on defense. They're just attacking a base with... It's it's like an inactive base almost, except I have Infernos. But anyways, let's check some of these out, guys. So I can only show you the last four. So here's Ivan. What's up, Ivan? How you doing? Cool. Looking good. So Ivan's going to go in with a questionable attack. Well, we'll say questionable. That's probably being nice. Um, Okay. Ivan's not really good at getting a hole in the wall, as you can see. Ivan struggles with that. He, He's almost there. He's getting there. But uh, his wall breakers, they just don't like to hit the mark. Okay. So he's going to ignore that and just start dropping his troops. <laughs> nice. You guys know how I feel about that. you got to clear the outside of a base if you want to have a good raid. you got to clear it and know where your troops are going to go. So Ivan's in trouble. <laughs> he literally has no hole in the wall. So he's going to have to break the wall. His Pekkas are on the job. Good. Looking good. He puts a jump spell into the middle. That's good. That's going to help his troops hopefully get in there. But this base is set up really nicely. So all the troops go around the outside. See those openings, those funnels. I would call those funnels. It keeps the troops from going in. And it's working perfectly. Look at this. This is sick, right? So, you know, I'm going to mention this more later. But if you guys do want to use a nice base for defense, this is a pretty good one. You know, if you have good Town Hall 10 defenses. So right now, if I was Ivan, I'd be thinking, man, I'm screwed. Like, there's no way out of this. I, this is not going to do good. Look, his queen's almost dead. Uh, he already used the Arch Queen ability. If she gets targeted, she's done. And you know what? I don't think she can even shoot the Town Hall from there. So she starts shooting the wall. And what just happened? What? Whoa! Super Ninja Queen backs around all the way into the perfect spot and starts taking the town hall let's look at that again on replay so what happened here was some some skeleton traps came up distracted her she starts shooting the wall but when those skeleton traps died she forgot about them now does that happen to you guys because it doesn't happen to me my queen is not a ninja she's stupid so if my queen locks onto something she usually doesn't lock off of it at any point even if it dies Sometimes my queen chases something and she just starts shooting walls and, and dies. It happens all the time. But uh, anyway, in that case, Ivan got super lucky. Awesome, awesome job, Ivan. It came from nothing to something, man. That was crazy. Went from a raid that I thought was going to be zero or one stars all the way to an awesome two stars. So props to Ivan. Mad respect, man. That, that was no joke. So the next raid, speaking of jokes, um... It's not going to go so well, so uh, we're going to call him Mac. Mac, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, Mac, you're throwing all your troops in one spot, and let me tell you something about that. Uh, when you throw all your troops in one spot, you usually don't win. Yeah. Okay, so that's the good part about a base like this. It's a big spread out base, and if people do this, they're not going to win. They're not, they might get the town hall if they're lucky. You know, but they're not going to get 50% because you have to spread out your troops for that. So, Mac, see you, buddy. See you next time. He used a bunch of heal spells. What, what was up with that? Did he forget that I'm a, a Max Channel 10 and heal spells don't really do much when you got Infernos wrecking you? Nice try, Mac. 28%. Ooh, <laughs> that was pretty good. Look at this, guys. That is the raid that got me to champion. I'm so ashamed. I wish there was a... An awesome rock star raid that got me there. Because, boom, now I'm there. <laughs> so let's pretend that that last raid got me to champ. And this is the celebration raid right here. And for a celebration, I might get smashed. Let's see how it goes. So this is a great army here. This guy has a... Basically a go wipe army. But he has a couple witches too. I don't really like witches, but they're going to work really well in this army. So this guy does everything perfect look he's got an earthquake that he opened up that middle wall with so all he's got to really do is get the packets in there and hit the town hall and it's done 
you know i have a bunch of max tesla's in there but it doesn't really matter pekka's are are gnarly if they get to the town hall the town hall is done basically so here we go what is that a heal spell what awesome dude freezes a bunch of stuff too and the pekka's are on it boom boom they're sort of getting slowed down by those traps but really you know one hit from each of them and boom peace see a town hall so no problem i don't mind losing man i've had uh, so many bad raids against me that i don't mind seeing some good ones so the pekka's continue on through the core look at them just crushing they don't even have a rage spell but they're still killing it but wait, look at my Max Teslas, dude. Whoa, just melted those Pekka's so fast. How sweet is that? You gotta love it, man. That, that's that been since the beginning of Clash, basically. Teslas have been the arch enemy of Pekka's. It's awesome. <laughs> I remember when Town Hall 9 was the biggest Town Hall, everybody used to put their Teslas on their Town Hall and uh, people were scared of them. They were lightning them. They would do all kinds of stuff because they could destroy your Pekka so fast. Anyway, uh, what? Why did this guy go easy on me? Did you guys see that? He had some troops left over. He had, well, he had a clan castle with some troops in it. It might have just been a golem, you know, and I guess he couldn't have gotten 4% with a golem. Anyway, he let me off easy. 10, 10 trophies, man. That could have been a 20 trophy loss pretty easily. So thanks, buddy. NP. Thanks, dude. So nice attack, really. He only had the queen, too. Notice he didn't have the king. Awesome. This guy definitely could have taken me out for two stars if he had the king. He was his clan castle, etc. So, you know, there are some good attackers in champion. But the bottom line is, a lot of the attackers here are not. <laughs> champion League is the new Masters League. Red is the new black. Wait. I said that right, right? Low champion is an easy place to get to, and a lot of people do. A lot of people farm there, just mess around there. So what I'm trying to say is, if you guys want to get to champion on defense or get up high with defense, you can. All you got to do is make a reasonably good base like this. You want it to be kind of an open base. Big compartments. It, I don't know why. It confuses people, man. They, they just don't attack it correctly. So this is an example right here, or you can use any of the other big box bases out there. But listen to these three rules. You want to have your queen near the middle for a lot of reasons. You don't want her to die easily, and she's a great defense. But more importantly, you want your clan castle in the middle. You don't need your town hall right in the middle. You want your clan castle there because it's such an epic defense. It, it has won me more raids, more defenses than anything else. I always put a golem or a hound in the clan castle, and it really slows people down. And the third thing is your loot. You want to let your loot fill up. You want to let your storages fill up and your mines and pumps because that makes you worth tons of loot. Most of the raids I've shown you guys, I've had like 500,000 gold, 500,000 elixir available and people go crazy for that. You know, they're not really prepared, but they're like, oh, whoa, whoa, look at that loot. And they take it and they lose and you win. So that's it, guys. You know, central queen, clan castle and let your loot fill up. And if you have a good base and you're a strong town hall 10, you can do this. You can defend all the way to master, champion, and beyond with just a little patience. Of course, you do want to log on as much as you can, fill your clan castle, traps, stuff like that. The simple stuff that you can do. I want a lot of defenses without my heroes this, this run. And again, I want almost 70 defenses. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Mission accomplished. Boom. That's a check off my, my bucket list right there. I've done a lot of things in Clash, but this was one that I hadn't done yet. I had a lot of fun in this series. I hope you guys did too. I mean, this is something new for me. I'd never done this before. Anyways, guys, we are starting a new series soon. Stay tuned for that. What could it be? Beaker cooks grilled cheeses? Maybe. We'll see. I am, I am a, a fatty. I do love food. I'll see you guys then. Peace.